O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Prophet Ezekiel Chapter 37 Yahweh's hand was on me, and he brought me out in Yahweh's spirit, and set me down in the middle of the valley, and it was full of bones. He caused me to pass by them all around, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? I answered, Lord Yahweh, only you know. Again he said to me, Prophesy over these bones. Tell them, You dry bones, hear Yahweh's word. 
Thus says the Lord Yahweh to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you will live. I will lay sinews on you, and will bring up flesh on you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you will live. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. And so I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, there was an earthquake. And the bones came together, bone to bone. I saw, and behold, there were sinews on them, and flesh grew up, and skin covered them above. But there was no breath in them. Then he said to me, Prophesy to the wind, prophesy, son of man, and tell the wind. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Come from the four winds, breathe and breathe on these slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up on their feet, an exceedingly great army. Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are completely cut off. Therefore prophesy and tell them, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves, my people, and I will bring you into the land of Israel. You will know that I am Yahweh when I have opened your graves and caused you to come out of your graves, my people. I will put my spirit in you and you will live. Then I will place you in your own land and you will know that I, Yahweh, have spoken it and performed it, says Yahweh. Yahweh's word came to me again, saying, You son of man, take a stick and write on it, for Judah and the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write on it, For Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, And for all the house of Israel, his companions. Then join them for yourself to one and into another stick, Into one stick, that they may become one in your hand. And when the children of your people speak to you, saying, Won't you show us what you mean by this? Tell them, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will take the stick of Joseph, which is in the hand of Ephraim, and the tribes of Israel, his companions, and I will put them with it, with the stick of Judah, and make them one stick, and they will be one in my hand. The sticks on which you write will be in your hand before their eyes. Say to them, Thus says the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the nations, from where they have gone, and I will gather them on every side, bringing them into their own land. I will make them one nation in the land, on the mountains of Israel. One king will be king to them all. They will no longer be two nations. They won't be divided into two kingdoms any more at all. They won't defile themselves any more with their idols, nor with their detestable things nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places in which they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So they will be my people, and I will be their God. My servant David will be king over them. They will all have one shepherd. They will also walk in my ordinances, and observe my statutes, and do them. They will dwell in the land that I have given to Jacob, my servant, in which your fathers lived. They will dwell there, they and their children and their children's children, forever. David, my servant, will be their prince forever. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant with them. I will place them, multiply them, and will set up my sanctuary among them forever. My tent also will be with them. I will be their God, and they will be my people. The nations will know that I am Yahweh, who sanctifies Israel, when my sanctuary is among them for evermore.
This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 10. James and John, the sons of Zebedee, came near to him, saying, Teacher, we want you to do for us whatever we will ask. Jesus said to them, What is it you want me to do for you? They said to him, Grant to us that we may sit, one at your right hand and one at your left hand, in your glory. But Jesus said to them, You don't know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I drink, and to be baptised with the baptism that I am baptised with? They said to him, We are able. Jesus said to them, You shall indeed drink the cup that I drink, and you shall be baptised with the baptism that I am baptised with. But to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to give, but for whom it has been prepared. When the ten heard it, they were indignant towards James and John. So Jesus summoned them and said to them, You know that they who are recognised as rulers over the nations lord it over them, and that their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. Whoever wants to become great among you shall be your servant. Whoever of you wants to become first among you shall be the bond servant of all. For the Son of Man also came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Then they came to Jericho, and as Jesus was going out from Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, the son of Timaeus, Bartimaeus, a blind beggar, was sitting beside the road. When he heard that it was Jesus the Nazarene, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, you, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him that he should be quiet, but he cried out all the more, You, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and said, Call him. They called the blind man, saying to him, Cheer up, get up, look, he's calling you. He, casting away his cloak, sprang up and came to Jesus. Jesus asked him, What is it you want me to do for you? The blind man said, Rabboni, that I may see again. Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus on the way. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that by you we being defended from the fear of our enemies may pass our time in rest and quietness, through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The Collect for Aid Against All Perils Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight and forevermore. Amen.